so uh we have talked about locator in part and uh, there are a lot of things to understand here so some of the things you know i'll put it here so in learn selenium uh, easily playlist i'm going to add more thing about locators okay so it's not enough to talk you know in a single 30 minute or one hour session about you know all the locators so I, i'll try to put more details about it uh, but let's let's talk a bit about id how to find that how to find whether it is unique um xpath thing if i can give you some trick about it um css which is like css selector uh link text is purely like when you see hyperlink at the tag okay quick discussion so id is best one if it is available in your system and developer has provided you these things uniquely use it okay so what i'm saying is let's see this particular website itself um test.eclipse.in and uh, let's go to login let's assume i am on this page and uh, we want to find out this email address that example we have already seen but i want to show that to you guys again and when you inspect any element you can in any browser you can just say right click and inspect this will give you inspect window this will give you element console lot of things network performance here is one arrow icon right click here and if i'll search this this will give me the you know html uh, content of that particular element so it is showing me input type is equals to text id is equals to login mail right so if you want to quickly check whether this element is unique in this page what you should do is simply copy this id login underscore email control c control f and put here right hash here hash hash means id okay so whenever if something is id right you can use hash Okay, so I'm checking whether I login email as ID right, is present or not, right? How many times it is? So it is one time here and second time within the script. So I don't have to worry about it if it is inside the script, okay? If it is inside the script, I don't, I don't have to, you know, worry about it. If it is inside the tag, like HTML tags, different tags are there right input div and all so it's fine so only one time it is so i'm happy with that that means it is unique okay now i can use it in my code if i want to write the code let's create a new class and reach to that point so here i will say new class and again locators demo that again i want to make and let's quickly copy copy two lines of code to open the website and reach to that particular in fact we should maximize also every time and uh, come here let's paste this code and uh, let's write further code here let me close this and I'll put this console output at right hand side. Hold on. Yes. Now we'll write the code. So I want to click on this login link, right? Then only I will reach to this point. So that was very simple. Again, inspect this. Inspect this. This is a link text because I'm able to see there is an anchor link. Anchor element is there. Anchor tag is there. And login is the text of it so i can simply say driver dot find element by dot link text and that text is login sorry that text is this 
login in double quote and say dot click. Okay, so this is the basic structure. Every time when you find an element, you are finding it by this, your driver instance dot find element bracket, then capital B small y by dot, then your technique, locator technique, how you want to find your element. I want to find element by link text. What is that text is login. So generally it will come in double quote. You know, whenever you are finding something, it will come your, your technique here, whether you write XPath, whether you write CSS selector, whatever, it will come inside double quote. Uh, double quote. Then what do you want to do? I want to click on it. It's like this. Now I was talking about the ID part, right? So that is simple driver dot find element by dot ID. So by dot ID is a function. There you have to provide the ID. So going back here, basically I'm talking about this particular email address part. So as we discussed, this login underscore email is unique thing. So I'm going back and I'll put it here. And what I want to do there, I want to send some, uh, you know, text. So I'll say dot send it keys. So send keys is a function which will send the sequence of character here, right? So I'm writing test at the rate uh, check dot com. Okay. And Every sentence, every, you know, Java, it's Java, right? You have to end it, your statement or the instruction with semicolon. Then, um, so this is ID. Very simple one, right? So whenever you can find the ID. Now let's talk about the next thing is XPath, okay? Same example. So let's find out this password. So there are different ways to find the same element. So here also login underscore password is there and it may be unique, but I want to create X path for this. It's very much possible that you can create X path for this. Just right click just to make you guys understand how to create X path for any element. Copy the outer HTML and let's go back. We are talking about the X path. X path. So this is the element. So I'll make it very clear. So it's like this. Now I want to create XPath. So XPath means it will start from the double slash, the tag name. Then you will put the combination of attributes if you want. So I am I will say, hey, find an input tag where attribute type has a value and the value is password. Fine. In fact, you can combine other things also. So here after this, you can say, and one more thing that it has ID also. So at the rate ID is equals to login password, but keep in mind you have to put it in single quote. That's it. And you can also put again and so see if you think that, okay, I want to use this attribute also to find my element uniquely, you can put it and placeholder is password okay yes so this can be your x path right i'll copy this and uh, i will check whether it is good or not to use so what you can do you can come here in the html uh, this element locator and here control f and put your strategy here so my strategy x path is this i'll hit enter oh it's saying no it's not good. So what is the problem? Oh, I have used two times equal to sign. Bad. I'll remove this. Yes. You're right. See here, it's saying one of one. Means it's unique way to find this thing. Means you, what X path you have written is good. So I'm copying this. And let's use it in code. So we will write driver dot find element by dot x path. And in the bracket, you can put the whole x path. And what do you want to do there? 
what you want to do with that i want to say dot send keys what i want to send is some random thing q w e r t y okay that also you have to give in single uh, double quote why because send keys is a function which accepts character sequence so that you have to give in double quote only. okay fine what is the next topic next thing is talking about the css okay so let's go back to the website and this time i want to click on this login link so I will simply inspect this login button. Yes, so this one it is showing me that. So let's create CSS selector. You can create XPath also if you want for the demo purpose. I'm showing you that how you can create CSS selector out of this. Copy, copy outer HTML. And now I have I want to create CSS selector for this particular element, right? Let's create it. So how CSS selector works? Okay, button, my tag name. But when you create CSS selector, you don't have to put at the rate for the uh, attributes. You simply say, hey, my class is basically, so there are multiple classes. You see here, there are a lot of classes here. So it's not good to use all these classes. What what is logical? It it looks like this one is good. So I'll say find out a class which contains this. So star is equals to means class contains this. Now I want to use type is equals to submit also. That also you can use. Here you don't have to write end. In next rectangular bracket, you just say another attribute type where type is equals to submit. Done. I'll copy this. I'll check whether my CSS selector strategy is correct or not. I'll go here. I'll paste this. Yes, it is showing me one of one. That means it's unique. I can use that. So I'll say driver dot find element by dot CSS selector. Then I'll put that CSS selector and uh, I will say dot click because I want to perform click on that okay um then next thing uh, 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 uh what we want to check link text okay so once you do that uh link text example will be different because you know there is no link text is going to come when you provide this and this uh, just click on login once you click that, it shows you this error message. So let's capture this error message. So I will again inspect this error message and we will print whether it is visible or not in the website. So here it's saying span, which has class indicator red and uh, data text is login. And uh, that's it. So let's use this span, which has class indicator red okay so what i will write here i'll say mm, span which has class star is equals to star is equals to uh what was that what was that red yeah red and as well as indicator also so again you have to write where class also contains indicator indicator so that is highlighting that particular thing. So I can use this. Here I will say, hey, what I want to do after this is driver dot find that element by dot CSS selector. The text message CSS selector is this, but let's capture it in an element, right? So I'll say web element, web element, error message element is equals to this now let's get text out of it because we want to get text out of that correct so here what i will say i'll simply say string uh, error message is equals to error message element dot get 
text. So get text is a function. It will get the text for that element, right? So any element when there is a, you know, paragraph, text, those things, label sometimes also. So you will get the text of it. See, this is element. When we talk about this, this is element. It's nothing. When you are finding it by it, you are finding it by its attributes. If you want to get the text of this, you should then say, you know, get text. Now you have error message. Let's print it as of now. So system.out.println. Let's print that error message. Okay. I'm putting four second break after every step so that, you know, things will be visible to you. Otherwise, it will be very fast. That's why only I am putting it like that. Let me close all other old browser. Also, yeah, that's it. Let's run this code. Let's run this code and see how it is working. And then basically we should get that, that error message. Okay. Let's see, somebody is saying I have made some mistake for the code. I don't think so. Okay, this is in double quote. My bad. Let's stop this execution. You can anytime terminate your execution by clicking this terminate icon. Great. Basically, I should say error message is equals to plus error message. Okay. This one. Fine. Let's run this again. Yeah, it should click on the login link now. Oh, yeah, it's working, it's working. Now it should put the email address. Yes, now it should put the password. We will wait. Now it will click on login. Fine. And now it should capture that text in Java code. So going back, yes, it is captured. See here, it is printing. Error message is equals to invalid try again because of line number 30. Fine. Now we can do validation same as you do in manual testing. So that will be our next step, which we will do. 